we're also overdue for a Johto game. I really like the idea of like you starting in Pallet Town, you progressing to maybe um, Cerulean, and then the whole, all of Kanto opens up, but then you also have these like this access point. Um, actually, yeah, maybe right in Celadon, right? Or what is it? Um, Saffron. Right in Saffron, you have the train station, that the, the magnet train that could bring you right to Johto. Um, so if we were to jump over to the gym leaders of, of uh, the Johto region, like I said, Faulkner is the Violet City gym leader. I love the idea of that Faulkner is um, canonically like his father was the gym leader who stepped away. And maybe we fight him. Maybe we see him. Maybe we don't. Whatever. Um, and Faulkner is now the young, you know, the new generation in this position. Now we would see him 30 years later. If he's he looks to me like 25 at least, um, you know. Maybe twenty. Yeah. I don't know. So, he, so he's in his fifties. Maybe he's maybe he's sixty. Right. Um, again, these characters have aged up. They're not. They're not like dying. They're just older. Right. Um, I actually love the idea now that even if you fight him as actually you probably you probably would fight him as like Jim Four or something in the Johto region, right? So I I like the idea of him having a more advanced birds from Johto, um, from Kanto. Uh, let's take a look at what his team was in in black white uh, black and white two. We've got Pidgeot, Crobat. He should not have a Crobat. Aerodactyl. No. He should not have an Aerodactyl. Those are not birds. I think that's important to Faulkner is that he has bird Pokemon. Uh, but he's got Honchkrow, Zatu, and Swellow. He uses um, Fero, Pidgeot, Dodrio, Noctowl, Zatu, and Honchkrow. Oh, that's great. So, um, I think he, he should uses have a Lugia. He Does he use a Lugia? Lugia? That's epic. Yeah, that's epic. I, I think uh -huh. I think it'd be really cool. So, if you fight him a little bit later in the game, he shouldn't have... He could have a Pidgeot if, if you wanted to. I think that'd be kind of epic. Yeah, um, no, that's cool. And, and I think Dodrio is cool, but he is also... He's all about the sky and he's all about birds. So, Noctowl makes sense. Pidgeot. Zatu is actually kind of cool. Um, I like Honchkrow with him. I do, too. I don't really... I think it fits him aesthetically. I think Honchkrow yeah. gives off this. Like maybe we save that for silver. I don't really silver, know. Silver, sure. Um, but I think I feel like he's gotta have a Skarmory. I don't know. Skarmory to me, it's like a it's a really powerful cool. bird Pokemon in Johto. I, I would love it, him to have Skarmory. But moving on now to uh, Azalea Town again. Bugsy is gotta this, overhaul that team. Gotta overhaul the team. He's got a Metapod, Kakuna, Scyther. And he's what? I feel like Bugsy is like a 15-year-old. A 10-year-old. I could see him as a 10-year-old. He's Bugsy's a bug catcher. Young. He's a bug catcher. Bugsy's really young. Um, so he's still going to be active. Or maybe he's removed. Maybe he's d gone on to do something else. Apparently, he's stated to be 14 years old. Yeah, so he's 34 now. Mm. That's pretty close in age to me. So this guy's this guy's young. He's kicking. And his team in Black 2 and White 2 is Scizor, Shuckle, Heracross, Pinsir, Armaldo, which is random, and Yen Mega. I think all of those, except for maybe Arm Ar uh, Armaldo, make sense for Johto and uh, feel like really just squishy, weird bugs, um, which I think is what he's all about. Um, let's see. I think you could also give him a Fortress, which he does have in um, in Black and White too as well. So <laughs> any, I think this I think this team right here is my favorite. I think this all makes sense for him. Um, if it's a lower, if it's a lower level fight that scales, maybe he has a B drill, maybe he has a, a Butterfree. Um, yeah. but I feel like it's going to be at least gym four or five. So sure. he's going to have a more advanced team. Um, in stadium two, he uses a weeping bell, a pupitar, a quagsire, a pseudo wudo and a eradicate <laughs> what? Yeah. all these non bugs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not counting that at all. Pupitar <laughs> kind of fits cause it's, cocoon, I think it does. Right? Yeah. It is, yeah. And, and especially because in his first appearance, he used a Metapod and a Kakuna. That's like, yeah, know? I think that makes sense. So I dig it, but. I think nah. what would be <laughs> cool to see about Bugsy is to see him, like, get out of the Boy Scout outfit, right? And yeah. Find, like, he'd, have a, he'd have a shorter haircut. And He's a den mother now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's a little. That's a little scouting joke. After after scouting you beat meme. him, after you beat him, he's like, "Can I interest you in some thin mints?" You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing Girl Scouts. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that team, especially Fortress, because Fortress reminds me of the pupas, right? 
Um, moving on to... Since we got rid of our psychic gem with Sabrina, it'd be cool to put a psychic gem there that's, like, using slow king. Dude, I was thinking that. Yes. Well. I totally agree. Slowpoke is... The slowpoke well in that air in, in, in Azalea Town um, is so important to the lore and to the... Uh, mm -hmm. Not the lore, but the... I guess, like, the mythos of no, the No, the lore. Yeah. It's it, But of the town, of the people who live there, yeah. right? It's an important aspect of their culture. So I do think it would make sense to have a psychic type gym leader there, or maybe also a water type gym leader. You know, Misty. I mean, if we're up. keeping Misty, yeah. yeah. But um, so yeah, I think you're totally right. And may and maybe uh, bug. Well, here's something. Maybe Bugsy. Her granddaughter. Yeah, but maybe Bugsy relocates to the um, what is it called? The it's near the bug catching contest, but to the to the west. National park. Yeah, the national. Well, there's the national park, but to the west uh, of there the is the Pokeathlon, and there's probably more space there where a gym sure. could be located. It's outside of Goldenrod. It is pretty close to Goldenrod, but yeah. I think in this game... Still got a route between it, so it's fine. Yeah. So I think if we're going to do any movements of the gyms, that would be a cool place to put... That would be a cool place to put um, Bugsy, and he could be more closely tied to the bug catching contest in the National Forest or the National mm -hmm. Park, which actually makes more sense with his, uh, with his outfit, right? He has this... I said scouting, yeah. but it's like a... It's like a ranger. He's a, he, he becomes a ranger. He's a bug catcher. Yeah. He becomes a ranger of some sort. I actually like that a lot. Um, Make so. Kurt's granddaughter because he has a little granddaughter in there, um, in his house. Yeah. yeah. That's the guy who makes the pokeballs. Make her. Um, oh, I love the gym that. leader now, and yeah. she uses. I think I could be misremembering. It's been a while since I played Johto, but she may have. They may have had like a pet slowpoke in their house or yard. I or think something. so. Yeah, so, like, they had slowpokes. It'd be cool if she had like a. She's a slow king trainer now, and she know? has the Galarian ones as well. That'd be neat. Yeah. Right, because <laughs> they all have different types. That's actually yeah. awesome. Yeah. And they are they're primarily psychic and not water, so you have slowpoke, mm -hmm. or no, you have slowbro, slow king. And then there's, what else could they give her? Maybe she's got a, a cloister as well. Well, then we're moving away from psychic. No, I know, but it's like, yeah, no, it, I got it you. fits. It fits. You know, it's it grumpy because it like poke. you can make the connection there with the pearls cloister. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that'd be kind of. I could see that as well. And, and we saw that Spoink is found in Ilex Forest. And the tail is the whole. Yeah, that's a great. Oh, bro, I love that. That's great. That's my new head cannon. Uh, moving on to Goldenrod City, which is potentially where Kanto players would pop out um, and, and yeah. almost begin their journey in Johto. Um, Whitney, again, is a very young trainer. That's how I interpret her. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, so she's got Clefairy and Miltank. Um, in other iterations of her team, she's got Blissey, Tauros, Ambipom, Ursaring, and Lopunny. I honestly, well, there's, and then there's another iteration of her team, which includes. Uh, Wigglytuff and Clefable, which I like. I honestly feel like Whitney is not just the normal type gym leader, but is also the pink, cute Pokemon type gym leader. So sure. I think you could give her Granbull or Snubble um, in there. That's a pink Pokemon. That's cute. Maybe she's oh. changed to Fairy now. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Yes. Yeah. I think she could be the Fairy type. That would actually definitely work. You'd have to remove Mill Tank, but then she could have Wigglytuff and Clefable and Gramble. And mm. what are some other Fairy type Pokemon? Maybe um, that's what's happened. Like her Mill Tank's kind of retired. Yeah, because her Mill Tank's you know, her Mil Mil Tank's uh, forty years or thirty. <laughs> what are we doing? Thirty years older. I mean, thirty years later, so it's it's at least thirty. Yeah, I think that could work very well. Um, I mean, I, I like it when the gym leaders are kind of tied to a Pokemon that isn't necessarily the type. Like, I think about totally. Jasmine being tied to the Ampharos, even yeah. though, you know, she doesn't use it. She should use it, though. And if we're jumping ahead, I, I definitely would give her that. Mm. I think that'd be really cool. What other, what else could, I'm just trying to scan for fairy types right now. I, I like Wigglytuff, Clefable, and Gramble on I could, team. Yeah. What about, it's not pink. Sylveon. Togekiss. Yeah, dude, give her a Sylveon. And maybe that's the team right there. Right, that's not too big. Um, mm -hmm. What other what other fairies? I'm I'm just searching for fairies. Um, uh, there is, um, yeah, you have the Spritzies, you have Swirlix. I don't really think that makes sense. Galarium Rapidash. That's kind of cool. That is cute. Um, that's a cute Pokemon. It's not pink, but a Zoomeril. Uh, Dude, a Zoomeril make yes, she would have an Azumarill. I forgot that was a thing. 
A hundred percent. I mean, that's a Johto Pokemon, right? Yeah. Anything from Galar? I'm just scanning I real think quick. Tinkaton is Tinkaton Ton and Kitakami. Dude, yes, and they give it rollout. It's <laughs> not. It's not. But I, I mean, they could they could bend some rules. It's Tinkaton. It's not in Kitakami. You said. I don't think it is. It's only available in that one area in. I don't even know where it is in, in Paldea, but I, yeah, I think Tinka, Tinkaton, like thematically, makes sense because it's this cute thing that packs a punch, right? So I actually yeah. like that a lot. Yeah, there it is. I like that a lot. Um, but yeah, she'd she'd be older. She'd be more mature. She wouldn't cry after she lost. She'd give you the gym right away. Um, although we're saying what maybe be funny is like you even reference it where she's like, I'm not gonna give you the badge. Yeah. Just kidding. Here you go. You know, <laughs> yeah. which is also, I mean, you could say, yeah, maybe she plays a little bit more tricks, and maybe that's the fairy yeah. type. Um, yeah, maybe instead yeah. of like, maybe instead of like just being like like deliberately um i don't know like instead of deliberately holding back and not want to play by the rules maybe she's like like being more tricky which still gives a similar effect like she's mm -hmm. like tricking you like i'm not going to give it to you just kidding here you go which yeah. maybe aligns with the prankster uh the prankster personality of a fairy no type. i like that a lot yeah yeah is i think it's grimstall in kitakami dude that might it might be Cause it'd be up? kind of funny to see like her have all these cutesy fairies and then a Grimstall and then it works with the prankster aspect. I like that. Too. Yeah, I like that a lot. I think Amber Palm also could work on the team just because it's a normal type. It's not well, we're saying fairy, so it's not a fairy. Yeah. Okay. Um, but let's move on to Morty. I think Morty's really cool. Morty's we'll always been great. Lavender Town. He's got a Ghastly and a Haunter and a Haunter and a Gengar. He is now in Lavender Town, which I love that Lumi. I love that addition. Uh, other iterations of his teams include Miss Magius, Bayonet, Dusk Noir, Chandelure, and Frostlass. We do see Frostlass. Uh, the Frostlass line does show up in Harkle's Soul Silver through the Hoenn uh, sounds. And Chandelure shows up in Kitakami. So I would love to see him have Chandelure. Um, what do you think? He needs to have a Alolan Marowak. Because <laughs> yeah. the Lavender Town thing. Yeah, I love that so much. Morty is in... Yeah, that's so cool. That would be honestly so cool. Um, dude, that's so cool. Yeah, I love that. I love that so much. That's honestly great. Morty's great. I don't really know what else to say to him. He would be... And, and what's, what is what is cool is, again, this younger character being a little bit older, being around the ghosts, right? He could fit into that a little bit more instead of being this, like, this lively thing. Um, just using just ghastly, right? He's more yeah. mature. He's seen some things. Maybe he's, you know, you know, you could have the head cannon that maybe he's been hunting. He's maybe had an encounter with, Gear, maybe not Giratina, but like Dark Rye or something, right? These like ghostly Give him Pokemon. Give an Annihilate. Because it's a Kanto Pokemon's evolution. Yeah, I love that. That's so cool. Yeah, and it could show, it's like, that makes sense. Again, 30 years go by. These things, you know, things, ha I don't want to say it, but, you know, things happen to Pokemon. Yeah. And that's actually a whole he had thing. Yeah, primate, it died. That's a whole thing about the the Lavender Town, um, you know, grave site. The rest, what was it called? The rest site. Like know, they they literally Pokemon say, Tower, what they call it? yeah, Pokemon Tower. They literally say that Pokemon die. So I think that makes total yeah. sense. Um, moving on to, oh yeah, so Morty's gone. Erica is now in Ecrotic. Right, we're right here. Yeah. Just for listeners, we're right here. Uh, an Ecrotique and Erica's If now we're there. changing Whitney to Fairy, maybe now there's a normal type Mill Tank trainer over in that ranch. Like yeah, a that's cool. Town there now, a yeah, maybe there's town. like a gym leader? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like make it a town, like a ranch town, kind of like Paniola town and put a gym in it. I like that. That's really cool. And yeah, they could like kind of carve up here into this like little mountainous area just to give us yeah, again, be a little more... mountain ranch town. Yeah. I love that so much. I really like that. Um, I would also like to see more access to the burnt, like the, the autumn leaves around, um, yes. <laughs> around yes. the tower, Ho's tower. Beautiful. So beautiful. Um, moving on now to Cianwood. This is, uh, through, you know, you go through the Whirl Islands, you end up in Cianwood and that is before you get to, um, the safari zone. But we've got Chuck here. I think we said Chuck is maybe retired and his daughter has taken up the gym in Saffron. So maybe he's not there and you've got a new trainer. Maybe in the Whirl Islands. 
Maybe you get a new gym leader uh, near the Safari Zone. We talked about that earlier in the show. Um, I like both of those ideas. Mm-hmm. And I think, um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Like Chuck, I mean, we kind of already covered Chuck. Chuck's cool. I don't know. He's, Maybe he's, cool he's still in CM Wood City, you know what I mean? Like his daughter yeah, he's retired with his wife. and lives in Saffron. But that doesn't mean that he is. He's still chilling on the beach in CM Wood City. Yeah. Now. And there are actually are oh, what's really cool is there's a lot of waterfalls. Gives you a tie yeah, totally. Yeah, he gives you a tie rogue. That's a great idea. You know, his whole thing is that he trains underneath waterfalls, um, mm-hmm. and there's a ton of waterfalls on the path yeah. and the route towards the safari zone uh, when you're going west. So maybe that's where he is. He's out there training, and maybe you can battle him, and then he gives you a tie rogue. I like that a lot. I could see him. Yeah. Actually, I could also see him with an annihilate. Yeah, his yeah, like his trusty primate. primate. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm excited for this one. We've got uh, in Olivine City, um, which we, we actually team. yeah we passed it. We've got Jasmine. Jasmine, I've always liked her as a trainer. I love that she has that whole story of her Ampharos. I think it shows a lot of uh, person. Uh, it shows a lot of variety in her personality. There's a story there. You see her in Sinnoh, and I also love the Pokemon that she owns. I love Magnemite and Steelix and Ampharos and other Steel types that she should have, like Skarmory. Um, or let's see in other iterations of our team uh, Scar- uh, Jasmine has Magnezone and Fortress Skarmory Metagross Lucario I think a lot of these actually might not make sense I don't think Fortress makes Empoleon. sense Empoleon Empoleon would be so cool I love that so much is that is that what is shown in yeah, her yeah in the rematch and Heart Gold and Soul Silver she uses an Empoleon oh well, let's go that is so uses cool. Empoleon, Skarmory, Bronzong, Magnezone, Metagross, and Steelix. I love that. Yeah. I think Mawile is another cool uh, pick here. Um, it's a he Pokemon that's... Kling Clang, Ferrothorn, and Excadrill. And, uh, Interesting. And Lucario. And um, she has a very... Like, she has a lot of different Steel type mons. Like, yeah. I think Lucario could make sense with the aura thing and her having such a good yeah. connection with... She's always seen... Like, they kind of depicted the... the I think the... The design of Jasmine reminds me always as like the spiritual, patient woman, like seen on the coast waiting for someone to return from sea right. or something, right? Not that she's like helpless, but that she's like has a strong yeah. will. Um, and we see mm-hmm. that her Ampharos is ill, so she's also very patient. It's like a hope that. thing. Like yeah, very hopeful. Hope. So I think Lucario um, makes sense. I love Steelix. Um, she uses a Celesteela and Masters. Yeah. Do we think... She, I mean, I like the idea of her just having an Ampharos on her team. I like that. I I don't, but that's because I'm a purist. Sure. Um. <laughs> <laughs> like, to me, that's exciting. Uh, that's, that means, like, there's a little bit of a type variety. I mean... Yeah, and, but... and she has she has Magnemite. Why not? If, if Surge is now an elite four member we need an electric gem leader so maybe yeah. she's become an electric gym leader but that messes up the whole team Magnezone and her Ampharos, um and just picks up some other stuff you know i mean yeah i that kind of bothers me because i think steelix is so core to her team um sure but it also makes sense right she could have a jolteon she could have a lantern because she's on the ocean right um there's a lot of things that they could do with her uh but but I think she'd be even older and even wiser. Um, and yeah, that's that's where the Lucario comes in with, with the aura, right? Being able to whatever. That's cool. Um, go Okay, th- all right. This next one is the one I always think about. Anytime I think about a remake to Johto, I think of Price. This man will be retired. He's already in retirement mode. He's just like, like he just reminds me of a snowbird, right? I guess not. Yeah. He's the opposite of a snowbird. <laughs> right. Um, I don't know what snowbird is. I thought it just meant a man who lives in the snow. No, it's like uh it's it's like uh in in New England in the winter it's so nice in the in the summer. And then once it gets cold, they just fly to Florida. Oh, okay, sure. For the for the yeah. for the winter and then they come back. He's instead he has made a home inside the ice cave and that's Yeah, that's chilling. cool. That'd be cool. I I think he'd be retired. Like I said, I like the idea yeah. of uh, Blaine being the new ice gym leader in uh, the Seafoam Islands. I like that a lot. Um, um, but I, so I feel like some they'd introduce some new characters to kind of fill the spot. I like the idea of there being a gym leader 
in uh, the Lake of Rage. Oh, how about this? Maybe that's where the dark type gym is. Yeah, silver could be there. Yeah. Silver could be there. The Lake of Rage. Um, there's some ties in there with dragons, which is where he learned a lot of lessons throughout the story of Heart Gold Soul Silver. Right when you fight him in the dragon, or you fight alongside him in the dragon's den. Maybe that's a reference there. And then he is. Yeah, I like the idea of him being a gym leader. Maybe in in that area. Or maybe, maybe they do just say prices in Alola now. Like he just retired. And yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Actually, we haven't gone to the we haven't gotten to the Elite Four yet. Uh, but I could see Lance stepping down. I could see Lance being, yeah, well, not aging out, but being like, I no longer want to do this job. And then I could see Lance retiring to the Lake of Rage, where all the dra- where all the Gyarados are, right? Or he retires to the Dragons, then he's the new Elder. Yo, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. You gotta, yeah. Um, and then what I'd do is I'd have Claire follow in his footsteps. Yep. And at this time, she's an Elite Four member because he was totally. an Elite Four member, then became the champion. And like maybe even her goal is like to become the champion, but she's an Elite Four member right now. I t- I love that so much. So uh, going back to Price, uh, Price has a Mama Swine. I could see him having he have a Dugong, Cloyster, Jinx, Lapras, Weavile. Weavile makes sense to sense to me since you can get Sneasel in the ice cave yeah um, actually no no but 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 he's retired so maybe you fight him yeah. later but I think someone else has picked his spot so moving on to Claire um, Claire's always had she's always been an interesting uh, fight she has originally had three Dragonair and a Kingdra and the remake they gave her a Gyarados instead of one of the Dragonairs I think her team could be fleshed out so much I love the idea of her team being not just dragons but serpents right her the the core the theme of her team it fits her design even is like water dragons of some sort right so Mm. and again this might bother you and i could see her as the i would love to see her as um as the the champion of the region right that'd be cool yeah so to me and then well so i don't know I'll, i'll tell you what i think but Dra- uh, Claire is seen with uh, in other games a Dragonite, Kingdra, Altaria, Salamence, Drudagon, and Garchomp. All of these Pokemon, except for Dragonite, are blue, which is kind of shallow, but I do like that. Um, she's also. Oh, Dragonite evolves from a blue Pokemon. It does, exactly. Um, that is, yep, that's her team. I think I like Salamence. I like Altaria. I like Kingdra. I like Dragonite. I could see them also maybe giving her a Lapras. Um, sure. It's dr- it's a little bit draconic. Maybe there's even a maybe there's even a new evolution for Lapras at this point, right? That actually gets the Dragon type. It's a Dragon Ice type. That would be that would be my pick. That's something that I would love to see. Um, what other Pokemon would you give her? I don't think Guard Shot makes sense. I would I would keep Dragonite. I would uh, keep Kingdra. Um, I like Drudagon for. Don't know why. I'm feeling that probably like she has that in the anime, right? Probably subconsciously because of the anime. In the yeah. anime, she has a shiny Drudagon. So you know what, dude? Um, Just give her a shiny Drudagon. That's cool. Right. That'd That's be cool. cool. Um. Or if there's a regional, and then maybe there's a regional. If you want to stick with like water dragons, she could have a Tatsugiri. Um, Yo, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, that is cool. Maybe a I like that. Dozo, since it's like the false dragon, which would be kind of a fun reference to the fact that her and Lance used false dragons. You know. Yeah. I like that a lot. I think. I think. Well, and if she's the champion, she'll have a little bit more diversity in her team, and that'll make sense, right? Like yeah. Iris even got some more diversity when she became the champion. I like that a lot. 